please check out our shirt on Teespring. Hey folks, what's happening? What's going on, little bro? A little curious, not too nosy. I'm going to talk about this uh, video before I really get into it. I'm going to try to be as respectful and courtesy about the story. Normally, I don't do this kind of stuff, but the only reason I talk about this is because it's dealing with cops and their public servants and certain things they should not do. And if you're a public servant, you just don't do this kind of stuff because when someone finds out you do these kind of things on the clock, people find out because what you do on the clock is public knowledge. And there's a perfect example. If this person was in a, in a public section, some business know about this. Maybe the business will know about this. You know, be, maybe a little story there and there, but it would not be as extreme as going on right now. This is very much a lesson is like, you know, when you're, a, you're an officer, you have higher standards than most people. And don't do this stuff. It's common sense, really. So I'm going to talk about the scandal that's going on in Leburn, Tennessee. And all the fun things is happening over there right now. And all the craziness is happening with their uh, police department there. A lady, uh, 26 year old, uh, Megan Hall. And she was a officer in the Leburn, uh, Tennessee police department. She got hired by them uh, 2020. The scandal was started around December uh, 2022. She was fired from the police department before uh, New Year 2023. In the first, she was fired. The special investigation on her began around 2012, uh, 2022. Very much story. Somebody sends a tip to the mayor of the town, Laverne, Tennessee saying that she's having some kind of living ship with a bunch of other officers at the time while she's married. But the issue was uh, she was doing this on the clock and off the clock, but the main thing she was doing off the clock and sending some, you know, interesting uh, pictures and videos of her to these, uh, her co-workers. So during the vindication, they are saying that she was having some kind of affair between three, up to uh, eight officers at the time. I'm not gonna get too much detail what's, what else was happening off the clock, but it's really interesting story to it. But I'm more focused about what she was doing on the clock as an officer. So once again, she got here so fired. Four other officers got fired and three were suspended. During a, a New York Post interview that she did with them, she admit that she she did was stupid, and also the stress of going to, going through a really messy divorce. This should be a, a tell for all young officers. It's like just don't do things like this because when you do things on the clock, the world will know. Everything becomes public record when you do something like, like this, especially on the clock. If you do something like that, go off the clock. You know what I mean? You know your duty. You're the hardest standard for you guys to do. We're paying you to do a job, but we're not paying you to do this, you know, cops got gone wild kind of thing going on here. So I really hope this doesn't ruin her life and she go on about her life about this. And I wish her the best and, you know, people have done more horrible things and, you know, done good in life later on. But we'll see how she thinks are really not our business. But once again, you know, don't do this as a cop, you know. So let me know you like, subscribe, let me know maybe better next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.